He's one of Australia's most loved tennis players and commentators, but for years, Yelena Dokic has been targeted by cruel online trolls. She's now calling out those body shamers online, declaring beauty is not a number on the scale. Mm. She joins us now live from Melbourne. Yelena, hey, so Yelena. good to see you. Now, you know how much we love you on this show. Yeah. Thank you. This online abuse you're experiencing every day, it is just disgraceful. I can't believe uh, you're, you're so resilient through it all. Oh, thank you. Thank you, team, and thank you for having me, and you're always so supportive. Uh, yeah, it's not easy. I'm not the only one that goes through it. I think pretty much every single person that's in the spotlight or has a public mm. profile, unfortunately, goes through it, and especially women when it comes to body shaming and body image. But, look, uh, I'm a tough cookie, <laughs> uh, wow. but I still want to fight uh, the good fight, and, and I want to stand up for myself, but even more so for other people uh, to know that it's okay to be be yourself mm. and sometimes in this society and and social media you feel like uh, you're too tall you're too short you're too uh, big you're too small and you feel like nothing is good enough and you feel like you're damned if you do and damned mm. if you don't so I think it's really important to continue to call that out. It's, I mean someone of your strength I'm um, going through this yeah. and, and having to deal with it uh, makes me worry for kids um, mm. who don't have any support out there. Um, yeah. You recently made a post about your weight loss and said mm. you'll never hide no matter what size you are, which is a yes. great message. You also called out the, uh, called out the body shamers. Uh, why have you decided to take that approach? I've decided to do it because I think by being open and having that open conversation, we, we remove all the shame and stigma around it and we normalise it. I have always been very open, uh, whether I'm a size 4 or whether I'm a size 20. And I've always said I will walk with my head held high regardless, no matter what. I've been out there in the spotlight in the middle of the Australian Open uh, when I've had both sizes and, and all in between. But you kind of feel like if you uh, go and, and you try, uh, your your size changes and you go up or you go down, someone will always not be happy. And I think ultimately I want to send a message of kindness. Mm. I want to send a message of us being good people. It's very easy to be behind a keyboard and write something mean and nasty. Uh, it's become the norm uh, mm. where we don't actually mean people. We, we meet people and we probably wouldn't tell them to their face, but we do behind a keyboard. So the message is if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, but let people be who they are. And, and and, uh, let people decide for the, themselves uh, what uh, defines them and what mm. beauty is. I think we, we live in a society and, and this social media world where you are defined by the number on the scale and by your size. And it shouldn't be that. It should be whether you are kind and a good person. So I just want to continue spreading that message. And, and like you said as well, it's about the younger generation. I worry about them because they don't have the tools to deal with it. Like mm. I said, I've got pretty tough skin uh, and, and I can do it. But I want them to know know that uh, I am out here uh, speaking for them as well and that I support them, that I, that I hear them and we just need to continue calling it out. Do you think the message is getting through, Yelena? I mean, you, you are that inspiration to so many of those young women out there. You're, you're a superstar on the, you know, on, on the tennis court, you're a commentator, you're an author. That's what we should be focusing on. Uh, yes, and I think it's getting out there uh, definitely in the last couple of years since I've decided to really speak up and be very open about uh, online uh, bullying and online abuse. Absolutely, yes, it's really started a positive conversation and, and the media and journalists and uh, you guys have been amazing as well at Channel 9 and the Today Show and the whole Channel 9 family really talking about that and pointing out uh, what we should be focusing on and it is, let's say for me, my commentary, my speaking and a lot of the other things I do. So I think it is getting through, but we cannot get complacent. We need to continue mm. calling it out because, unfortunately, there will always be bullies. There will always be people that abuse you online. So we need to continue We need to continue to, to talk about it. Just like this time round, I've gone on a health journey and I've lost some weight and uh, all of a sudden that's not good enough either because people <laughs> felt like, or a few yeah. people felt like, I don't stand up now for people uh, that are maybe size 20, mm, which is what we. I was. So that's why I said you kind of feel like damned if you yeah. do and damned if you don't. Well, you are doing an incredible job, Elena, and we absolutely love you and it's such a pleasure Thank to you. speak to you always. Thank you so much for Thanks joining us today. Thank you for Go having well. me.